we were four brothers and the youngest two was me and Arshad, my elder brother. I was the youngest in the family. So our hobby was to, that we used to make little things. Um, that we had a little toolkit and taking some plywood or taking some other stuff. And we used to start making things. And uh, so then one day we said, you know, why don't we make a model of our house where we live? So we went and made a model of our house. And I'm talking about we were like, 12 years, 13 years old. So it's as old as that, that where the interest actually began. One of my cousins actually suggested that why don't the two of you become architects? We didn't know what architect was. So because the only thing you heard, okay, there was a contractor and there was an engineer and there was no third profession in this field. Whenever you wanted to get into a profession, you had to intern with somebody, which is you become a chota. Ab shagird ki karni zaruri hoti hai. But this architect, his name was Pyarali Merali. By the way, his office was in this building where we are right now. So we we thought we should go and ask him if he could intern with him. And uh, well, we we ended up starting interning with him while we were still in school. The more we uh, understood architecture, the more interested we got into it. My brother went first uh, to uh, Chicago at IIT, a very fine school. And then I followed him a year and a half later. I also went to Chicago, but I did not go to IIT. I went to another university, which was University of Illinois at Chicago. I was the first Pakistani in the architecture department at University of Illinois. And uh, so after graduation, it was almost a given that we'll just come here. And we, Arsha just came and we just started working here. And when I came, I started working here. So Pyarali said that I want to uh, go to Canada and see how my parents are adjusting, how they're settling down. And after he went there, he called us and he said he's not coming back. And people used to come here and look for Pyarali and he said he's not here. So where is he? When is he coming back? He said we don't know. So who are you? We are his partner. Oh, that's our junior partners. And they used to walk out and a lot of the projects also went away at that time. And uh, although we are the ones who had designed them, those projects, Anyway, we changed the name to Arshad Shahid Abdullah and uh, this was, I'm talking about late 70s or early 80s. That's when we started uh, the firm. We always worked for the project, not for the money. Because being a true professional, you don't have to worry about the money. Whether you make it or not, it has to be done right. If you have to redo it, then you redo it because your name is attached to it. So we continue to do houses. And I now feel that it was probably the best thing we did because if you know how to do a good house, then you can build anything because you are used to now looking at things closely. You're looking at the humans and every building has humans, whether it's hospital, whether it's an airport or whether it's a public toilet. The collector customs called me that uh, we have this beautiful building which is about 100 years old. But look at the street, it's so untidy, it's so ugly, it's so... so I said, what, why have you called me? He said, can we do something to the street? This building was the most important building in Karachi. It was built at the time of the king and queen and whatever, and the British Raj. And then what if the queen came here in Kodagari? How would this street have been? So that was the beginning thought. And of course, after the street, there was a chalk out there, which was called the Charya Chalk. And there were a lot of uh, 
drug addicts that used to be there. So I said, this, is, this street has come out so beautiful. And where is it leading to the street? Because we had closed it on the other side while we were working on this. And once we opened it and there was this garbage dump and probably the worst area in Karachi. So we said, why don't we also do something here? We said, why don't we just make it into a pedestrian street? Because when we shut the traffic for eight months, so I spoke to the collector custom, Mr. Tarek Huda, and I said, look, if the traffic has already found its way going from somewhere else, why don't we just leave it that way? A year earlier, there were six murders on that street. Now, to have a 180 degree uh, turn that uh, rather than murders, there are people who are actually enjoying themselves there. Uh, so I said that if this has Sukoon, then I renamed that area the Pursubun Chok. The stone I call the Mitti. Har Subhe Ki Mitti. And I have put it as, as a fabric weave. So one mitti is woven into the other mitti. And that's how the whole flow pattern is made. And within that mitti, you will see differences also. That if you are from Punjab and there's a panel which is using stone from Punjab, each stone has its own character, as the humans have different characters. What we did was, I made two walls out there, which were a little apart, which were almost representing... When we had designed this, there was a lot of trouble in those areas. So there was a lot of no-go areas. And so I said, OK, these are the gates, the no-go areas, and I moved them apart that now the gates are opening. Now, those two walls are made in a perspective. And I have some openings on the top. Like the Kabe ki wo jujan likhai bhai bhi hoti hai, I have openings there for the pigeons. So the pigeons go and sit there, and it is sitting in water, This, these two walls. And I... I have a very powerful beam that goes from the middle of the wall. And then I have a six foot high or five and a half foot high wall all around this. And that is made from the Karachi stone. That it is Karachi that is welcoming or protecting the other Sumas. Besides that, yes, we've done many other projects. I'm happy for South City Hospital because it made a benchmark. Uh, Dolman made a benchmark. Uh, so these kind of things we keep on doing that no matter if it's for free or for uh, business, it has to make a mark. Khadi has made a benchmark as far as the design is concerned. As far as the younger generation is concerned, uh, any field of art, as you know, um, you can't just do it because somebody told you to do it. You have to be really in it, into this field or into, I mean, in love with this profession. But I think it's a very, very good profession. It's a very satisfying profession where your thoughts have come into reality and it stays there. So if you are an architect, then you're either the best or you like the rest. Now, even when you're the best, which, which does not mean that you're making a lot of money if you're the best. It means that you're getting a lot of work and you are hiring more people. The biggest problem that we have in this country or the underdeveloped countries is we don't have a timetable. We do not have a timetable to your projects. And that I would say that, uh, and that's what I've been working on that how can you finish your project in half the time or in quarter of the time? Because your fee is decided that say you're getting 
X amount of rupees and is decided three years before. So your selling price is decided. Now, whether it takes a year or two or three or five, you get the same amount of money. And that is where you lose out. It has to look right to everybody. It has to be comfortable for everybody. It has to be at the right price, at the right place. And it has to last for a long time. So it's a very, very difficult combination. They say the older you get, the better designer you become. Because you have shed all the nakhras. And that's what happens also in design. Experimentation the yard. When it got on keep building like it, but my car will now work. All of that goes away. That makes something that's three generations down, they would say, oh, wow, 